May 14th is the D-Day in Turkey. It will mean a new parliament and a new president for the country. Early voting is already underway in sites abroad. And it's looking like neck to neck. As citizens gear up to choose their next leader, the interior minister in Turkey has made a damning claim. He says that the West, and particularly the US here, is using the elections to stage a political coup in Turkey. The interior minister tweeted a television interview of himself making the point as he was speaking on air. The channel played the video of the US President Joe Biden speaking about backing opposition leader Kemal Kılıçdaroğlu if he became the president. He is the head of the Republican People's Party and is within one or two percentage points of Erdogan. The reports are bringing back memories of 2016. Let's give you a flashback now. It was a deadly coup attempt made in that year that changed Turkey's politics forever. On 15th of July, a section of the military launched a coordinated operation. Soldiers and tanks took to the streets of major cities and a number of explosions rang out in Ankara and Istanbul. Now, Weon cannot independently verify if the new coup claims are true or not, but one cannot negate the timing of this claim. There are two things to keep in mind here that the D-Day is just two weeks away. And the second, that polls show that Erdogan's comeback is not certain. After the 2016 failed coup, Erdogan used it to bring sweeping crackdown. He declared a state of emergency. What followed was termed as autocratic by many. Even a mere suspension was enough to detain someone. At least 50,000 people were arrested. More than 100,000 people were sacked from their jobs as well. Dozens of media outlets were shut down and Erdogan justified his actions by saying this will root out all coup supporters. This is a direct quote from him. So is the coup claim real? Or is this the Turkish government's last bid to stay in power? Erdogan has been at the top of the seat for more than 20 long years in Tur Turkey. But on May 14th, he will be facing his toughest challenge yet. If he loses the election, the Turkish political landscape will change dramatically. But the big question is, how far can he go to not make that possible?